Hey everyone, what you're looking at right now is the Season 2 update balance changes for the Man of War. Um, I've always been interested in the Man of War. Um, it's one of the consistent three-shot weapons. And since we got some buffs this season, the reload speed and the ADS speed is actually, I think, a big one. Um, since we got those buffs, today's video is going to be about the Man of War. Um, I am going to do a more... I guess it's for a mobility build on this Man of War here, Covenant Standard, um, just to, you know, make use of that buff to the ADS time. And to help with that, I also threw on the Red Skulker perk for today. Um, well, let's take a look at the Gunsmith. That's the fun part here. So, um, this is one of the three-shot kill weapons, as I mentioned before. You know, I take off all the attachments. It's a three-shot kill to any part of the body out to 22 meters. When I add the Colossus Suppressor, it goes out to 30.8 meters. So, pretty good um, damage range right there. Colossus Suppressor makes even better, and with the sound suppression. So, threw that on. OWC Laser, don't need to talk about why that's always good. Uh, maximum ammo size. And then I was looking for something to increase the mobility here. Um, we got this light stock. You know, I could have thrown on the combat stock for the ADS time, but that's got a lot of downsides and some recoil downsides. And there's also the light barrel that's also got some recoil downsides. So I went with this light stock because it only decreases horizontal and vertical recoil by 1.6. So actually, if we look at the overall stats, um, we've got some increase on the movement speed. ADS time is technically a little bit slower, um, but I'm, you know, we kind of made up for that from the... Uh, season buff and then the bullet spread is increased that's the other thing i noticed on here i think the man of war got some other buffs in past seasons not just this current one the base um not that this the base bullet spread is 14 which is crazy that's really low and the way i've got it built out is 13.4 so we should be able to play range here with this thing and that's also why i threw on the red dot site because the man of war does not have the best iron sights. So that's what we're going to be using today. Let's get to it. Okay, we've got Crossroads Strike for our Man of War match, or Mo. I don't know, does anybody call it Mo? So I just thought of that now. Like Mo. Mow your grass. Mo. Front line. And here we go. Mo. Man of War. So this is usually where we encounter the first enemies here. Oh, and we get two. Oh, still getting used to the movement speed on here though. But we got that guy. Nice long shot there. I like having the red dot sight on here. That definitely helps. Oh, notice that guy just in time. Didn't see him at first. But there's somebody over here that's back up on, around the wall so that other guy doesn't come at us from the side. Now we'll take on that guy if he's still there. Oh, got ambushed from inside the building. An MX-9. So, can we, I don't know. Maybe we might need more vertical recoil reduction if I'm going to hit headshots over boxes like that. But we can definitely hit body shots with some good consistency here. These kill times actually feel like they're pretty good um, yeah I'm hitting a lot of shots here I think. that was a lucky headshot but let's see if this guy's still here nope okay teammate took care of it can we get this long range oh there's two guys here let's wait to see if one of them turns the corner here first oh hello surprise there now some oh teammate stole that one. UAV online. So uh, oh another I'm actually playing close range with this. Look at that. I was not expect ah lost the side to side movement. I was not expecting to be able to do that. So nobody in the building. Let's go check outside again. And there's nobody in 
here again. Friendly so, Shocker, see if find somebody for us. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to be careful about this, though. Turn the corner. Normally, they break out of the shock RC by them, so we got lucky there. And we've already got a first half dog. How about that? Thanks, dog. And let's avenge the dog here. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Once they locked down, we got it. 30 to 16. You know what I didn't realize? This map crossroads strike is just the one side of the crossroads map that they'd use for 12v12 in like ground war mode. This is just like one of the starting zone areas. It took me a while to realize that. I think I realized that sometime last month. But now we got a dog chasing us down, so we'll take that dog out. And it sounds like there's a sniper over there, but I don't want to hang out. I'm to open with a sniper. Shock RC is ready. UAV online. And we got our score streaks again. Contact with enemy. So I can definitely tell. Oh, that's not a. They still call out sniper for a marksman rifle? I didn't think they did. But it looks like we got people trying to cross the bridge here. So let's cover that. And finish that guy off. Finish this guy off. Distract him with a trip mine. Lucky headshot. But I can definitely feel the higher mobility on the Man of War, you know, whatever the buffs for the last few seasons. And the ADS timeline this season helps somebody sneaking around over here. Take their dog out. Changing now. Where did Cover me. Where'd the player go, though? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I can feel the mobility. It used to just feel like you're so slow. Look at this. We're playing close range again. Yeah, I was expecting to do like mid to long range um, with that red dot sight on there, but we are playing close range. And that guy's playing close range too, but it's not fair when I don't see him coming. Looks like we might get someone else running across the bridge. Yep. There we go. ADS movement speed coming in key there. Moved across to the left to get that final shot near the head. That sniper's still sitting up here. Oh, look at that. Can we get that guy out? Let's take a reload break. Killer and try again. Oh. Come on. There's somebody here. Okay, maybe. I guess I'm getting better at controlling the recoil. Because I actually. Oh, there is actually a sniper up there. Because I actually got some consistent shots on that person hiding behind the tank. Oh. I hate that one. It's like you die when you're already behind the wall. Anyway. I'm not going to risk running through again, we'll let the shock RC take care of it. So that was a solid three shot kill there. We're almost there. Keep it up. Somebody advised hostile an enemy over here though. Enemy Hit some shots. Is coming. I don't think so. Let's push up here. Now I hear people all over the place. Oh two on one. Yeah, so maybe this is, man of war is not quite as good as the switchblade is up close. But if you hit all three of your shots, it's pretty good like pre pretty good almost any distance you know within the three shot kill distance down, oh that sniper's still up there let's try that again Contact with enemy. oh but there's people up here first oh shoot I got distracted I forgot the guy on the side I, he saw me oh, he avoided the hunter killer drone I got distracted firing at the first guy and then I switched couldn't decide if I was going to switch onto the second guy. So let's take this guy out. He looks distracted. How many hits do we need on him? Wow. Oh, well, we got him anyway. And let's send the dog after this guy. I don't feel like chasing around into that building wide open. So, thanks, dog. Oh, and that's going to be it. 60 to 48. Yeah, I was the MVP with the Mo. Man of War. I wonder how they pick which highlights to show in here. Like, show this one because it's a double kill. 77. Wow. That's pretty solid. And eventually, whenever I get the newer park, I'll use him in my next video. 
So what does 77 come out to? 21 and 8. Not the best KD, but holy moly, that's the most kills I've gotten in, in a ranked match in a while. Wowee. They were smoking. I really like this build too, and I highly recommend you give the Man of War a try if you haven't done it in a few months because it's changed. So, thanks for watching.